This weekend, I decided to give myself a challenge, make a game in 24 hours. And many of you may ask, but wait, Zyger, you have already made a game in 24 hours. Well, that was in Game Maker. And Game Maker is Game Maker and Unity is Unity, the two different things. And don't tell me that they're the same thing because you can make games in both of them. It's the same thing as grabbing a bit of cheese and another different bit of cheese. Putting them together, you're still gonna have two bits of different cheese, so I win in this situation and I'm doing it anyway. Um, just ignore that, that's just not meant to. So first of all, we need to download Unity. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and download... What? Ah, there we go. So to start, I opened up Photoshop and created a small little plan of what I was gonna accomplish in this 24 hours. I decided to go for a game that had similar mechanics to Agara.io. Basically, bigger blobs kill smaller blobs, and that's how the world runs. But to make it more interesting, I wanted to add guns and other special elements into the game that made the game just a little bit more enjoyable. So, after completing the plan, I decided to open up Unity and start making this goddamn game. So I'm back and I've done quite a lot in this project and I'm going to show you what I've done. Now I did use a couple tutorials because obviously I don't know C Sharp that well and how Unity is laid out and how to actually put program in this kind of pro program, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I have done. So as I said, I'm making this kind of agas.io type game. So I've got a little score at the bottom. Now you can move around following the mouse and if you go into the blobs, your size increases. I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. Now on the right, sorry, on the left hand side you'll be able to see that a bunch of food clones are created. Basically, I've got a little script that keeps creating stuff if I take one in and whatnot. So, right now I'm really slow because I'm quite big and I also made the weapon kind of rotate to the mouse. Now, I'm quite big and the way this is going to work is to shoot, you're going to have to sacrifice your food and your mass. So when you shoot, you slowly get smaller and your score decreases. Now this obviously increases your speed as well, so it's quite nice, however, you're also obviously um, then risking of getting eaten alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some enemies and create some basic AI, and then I'll be back once that is completed. So it's now Saturday, and I was working on it yesterday throughout the night. Now, I'm sorry that I didn't record anything, but you know, people are sleeping, can't talk, can't record and whatnot. But I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So when I press play, it works kind of like Agar.io, but with cool mechanics. Basically, you can shoot the enemy, which will make the enemy go get smaller, right? So you can keep doing that and keep making the enemy get smaller. Now, if you shoot, you also sacrifice your score in order to kill enemies. The whole point of the game is to make the enemies smaller than you so that you can kill them. And the way you kill them is by engulfing them. So for those wondering, this is my move script for my player. It's very simple and the player just basically follows the mouse. So if you want to copy that into your project, you can go ahead and do so like now. So now I'm going to work on the death system for the player and for the enemy. This will be quite simple, but I'll try and explain it to you guys. So we have blob A and blob B. Now blob A is player, blob B is enemy. If they collide together and the enemy is bigger than the player, then the player will die. But if the player is bigger than the enemy, then the player will engulf the enemy and gain points. Fairly simple, just like an agar.io. So after like an hour of work, I've managed to make some code that compares the size of the enemy and the player. Now I figured I'd show you this for other people who would probably maybe struggle with it because I literally spent an hour and I couldn't find anything online that, that helped me with this. So basically we have my player, right? Now underneath him I made an object called hitbox. Now this is what does the collision for my player, but you can have this anywhere. I'll show you the code that compares the sizes. Very simple in fact. I create two um, objects, so private game object go and private game object go to. Now both of these will equal, the pl one of them equals player, one of them equals enemy. This is so that I can kind of um, access it in an easier way later on. Then this is my collision code right here, but you don't have to ignore that. All you need to focus on is this. So this basically checks if the player, because go meant player, if the player's size is bigger than the enemy size, then debug code, um, write this log that says bigger and destroy game two, which is enemy. Else, if the player is smaller than the enemy, do the same thing, but say smaller and destroy the player instead. So this line of code, there you go. This line of code right here basically is the thing that compares the two. So now if I show you this in actual game, I show you two scenarios. So the first scenario, what if the player is um, if the player is bigger than the enemy, you can just collide with it and you kill it like so. And then if the what's it called? If the enemy is bigger than me and we collide, I die. Now currently the game just kind of crashes because I don't have an end screen, but that's what happens when um, I die. I've created the spawning system for the enemies, so they'll spawn randomly around the map. But now it's time to create the main menu, the end scene, 
and the high school system. So it's been some time, and by some time I mean like the whole day basically. And it took a whole day because I was trying to fix bugs, okay? Now if you don't know this, bugs are super hard to fix usually, because in my case I will find a method of fixing the bug, and then through the method of fixing it another bug will come up. So I was basically in this endless cycle of fixing bugs. Now I kind of fix as much as I could. Now there's quite a lot of stuff that I didn't fix, so when you play the game, just ignore the bugs, even though they're quite obvious. Either way, I managed to make a game over scene, a main menu, and a high score, so that was at least a positive from this whole day. Now, a couple of things that I'm gonna like try and add right now, because I still have about four hours, is I'm gonna try and create some lighting effects, some visual effects, and stuff like that. Probably also gonna fail, because I had a go at it earlier and I couldn't figure it out at all. So, wish me luck, and yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So now it's time to make some sound effects. So I downloaded VFXR, which is a really cool program where you can make sort of like pixelated sounds, and I'm gonna be working on that right now. So the game is finished, and right now I'm gonna give you a little preview of it. So we can press options, which gives you to here. Now, right now, as you can see, there's a little glitch here because I didn't have time. You can adjust volume, but um, this doesn't work right now. Either way, we can click back and we can press play. So as you can see, you're like this little character and you can collect these little points and so forth. And here's my score, total score and high score. Now, if I try and shoot this guy, he will start decreasing in size, which was showed earlier. Now, the only few things that I've added since the last clip is the fact that I've added all these nice effects. So the 24 hours are over, and I still have two hours, but I'm too exhausted to work on it anymore. Links to the game will be in the description below. However, do keep in mind I only had 24 hours, and I didn't know C Sharp before this video, so there is quite a lot of bugs. The main bug being that sometimes when you load into the game, you'll spawn right next to an enemy, meaning that you'll die immediately. This is fine because you can restart multiple times until you respawn somewhere where it's away from an enemy. Either way, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I learned a lot and I feel like Unity is a really great program and I want to make videos about it in the future. So if you do want other Unity videos, go ahead and leave a like and I'll also leave a poll in the top right corner. As well as that, I'll leave another poll suggesting if you guys want the source code for this game. I feel like it will be good to release the source code as you guys can add your own like additions to it and whatnot. But I'm not sure if I'll release it just yet because I feel like making another video on this game and where I like different features and more stuff like so. Either way, I still had loads of plans for this game. I want to add like power ups and other stuff. However, as I said, I'm too exhausted to keep working on it even though I have two hours. So I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. I don't really care. Either way, hope you guys are having a lovely day. Goodbye.